Hi. What's your name? Kara. Karen? Kara. Kara. Yes. Okay, nice to see you. Nice to see you and meet you. Yeah. How are you? Pretty good. I'm good. So, my question is, when Maharaji told you you needed to come back to America, mm -hmm. how does one make this transition from being in India for so long? It must have been pretty tough. Well, it was and it wasn't. First of all, <clears throat> I was so full of blessings and so full of, uh, I couldn't take anymore. I was, you know, I was up to here. And I kind of knew that I kind of wanted to come back in a way and kind of spend some of that energy. Because I was just like, I was like walking like a robot. I just had so much juice, and it wasn't really passing through in, in retrospect. I mean, I'm not, I'm not at, the, at the time, I don't think I saw it that way, but looking back, I could see that. I, you know, I was just, it, there was so much attachment in me and so much, so many desires and so much crazy neurotic stuff that the energy wasn't really passing through. And of course, he knew that. Mm -hmm. And he also saw what, what what I had to do in my life and, and what I needed to do in order to free myself from uh, what desires needed to be satisfied, what stuff needed to be lived through. And he just saw, I, you know, he knew I had to come back to the West because I couldn't do it in India. So that's why he sent me. And also I think he sent me to protect me from being there when he was going to leave the body because mm -hmm. that would have been because I wouldn't have, if I had been in India when he left the body, I don't know what I would have done. Mm -hmm. I was already really sick physically. I'd had hepatitis, I had really bad parasites and amoebic dysentery. I had all kinds of stuff going on. And if I had been in India when he left the body, I would have just probably tried to disappear somewhere up into the mountains and some little kuti and gotten really sick. And being very stubborn, I probably, it, it, probably wouldn't have found me till after I died. <laughs> so, so he sent me back. And uh, yeah, it was very hard, but I was also happy. I was, felt like a kid in a candy store, you know? Because I'd been celibate for two and a half years in India while I was with him. And now, you know, hi, <laughs> welcome to America. You know, I was like, yeah, great. So, um, it was, it was, Still was difficult, but but also on the other end, I, I just thought, okay, I'm here for a little while and I'm, I'm gonna run back to him. You know, so how bad could it be? Yeah, I'll just have a good time and I'll go back to him. Because mm -hmm. then he died. That's, that was difficult. Yeah. That was hard. Then having to live without him, him in the body to go back to, that, that took a long time, very long time. And you didn't want choose to go back to India to stay and live, or? I did go back quite often to visit with the old devotees, and, but it wasn't the same, you know, mm. it wasn't the same. It was good, and I would go back every year, maybe sometimes twice a year, just to get the hit, because I wasn't able to stay above water here. Yeah. But as, as time went on, that kind of changed too, and I was mm. able to, I didn't need to go there for uh, resuscitation every time, you know, I was, I was able to, 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 to kind of stay in the, in the flow, so to speak. And you feel comfortable living here um, in the West? Yeah, yeah, it still doesn't feel like home. India feels like home. Yeah. But uh, I don't think I'd want to live in India now at this point full time. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really. I don't really think about it much. You know. I just kind of do what I have to do and that's it. If it changes, it changes. I guess that's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this, this young Baba I know, he said, oh, just come stay here. We'll sing, we'll chant together and when you die, I'll build a little samadhi for you. And I said, yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you don't have TV, I'm not coming. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I think, you know, it's good to be here, it's good to, to uh, share this practice with people and uh, 
just kind of share that little bit of, of light that was uh, shown to us, you know, in the old days, and try to try to live in that light mm -hmm. now. Well, uh, thank you for sharing it with yeah. me and everybody. Thank you. Okay. Anything else? I think that's it. Yeah. Where do you live? I live in New York. New York City? Yeah, Fun. New York City. Very from Long Island. Long Island? Yeah. Where? <laughs> Where I'm... Um, Plainview. Plainview. My yeah. mom taught at Plainview. She, well, you wouldn't have been in third grade in the 80s, would you? No. no. <laughs> All right. My mother used to teach third grade at the... What's, what was it called? Right off the free... Right off the Long Island Expressway, there's a, a, a little elementary school in the Plainview District. Um... Parkway? Yes. Yeah, that's I what didn't she go called. to that one. Oh, okay. You didn't yeah. have my mother then. I, went, I was at the other side. Okay, good. Yeah. You're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> good. All right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Thanks too. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Thank you. Okay.